Welcome, friend. We're so glad you joined us today. We thank you for your concern and for choosing our church uh, to worship. We thank you very much. You're always welcome here. Let us give you our order of service. We have Sunday school on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock, and we have Sunday morning service starting at 12 o'clock. And on Wednesday at 6 o'clock, we have Bible study. And Friday at 6 o'clock, we have evangelistic service. And you're welcome to come to all of our services. And we're soliciting your prayer. Continue to pray for us, and we will pray for you. We are trying to get the word of God to the people. And we solicit your prayer, your support, in whatever way you can. Now let's go to our service that's already in progress. Bless his name, bless his name. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. My soul loves Jesus. Bless his name. She was saying, you know, that same energy that she had when she was out. 
out there in the world, she started putting that energy in with God. Yeah. And now that's where she was like Saul. Because Saul was out there persecuting the saints. Mm. But when the Lord saved him, then he got in there and began to start running for his life. He was working for the Lord. Just like he worked when he was out there persecuting the saints, when he got saved, he began to start working for God. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to work for him. And if we've been giving all our time to the devil and not giving God any our time, then we need to think about it. She is a beautiful person. Amen. She's always helping people. She's always ready to go. When you say rest, she'll say go. Last night, we was invited to a birthday dinner with one of the mothers from uh, Community Temple. And we went there and we had a wonderful time. It was beautiful. And her daughter planned this dinner for her. She turned 60 years old. Mm. And her daughter planned it and it was just beautiful. So we enjoyed the fellowship there with the other saints <laughs> and we enjoyed the food. Yeah. And now she goes with me to the rescue mission Matter of fact, this Thursday we'll be going to the rescue mission. Well. And she's excited about going there. I don't even have to beg, I don't have to beg. I say, Thursday is rescue mission time. She says, oh, yes. And she has, I mean, been doing job after job after job, running here, running there, running here, taking her son to Bay City and going back and picking him up and up. But when it comes time for the rescue mission, she's right there. She's right there. And no matter whatever else it is, you know, that I'm doing, if she can lend a hand, she'll do. And so who wouldn't appreciate somebody that's trying to help make my load fly? Who wouldn't appreciate somebody that's trying to help me and look out for my way of being? You know, and, 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 and we just have to love everybody. Yeah. We just have to have that kind of love. If the Bible says it runs from heart to heart and breast to breast. Yeah. And it's no funny kind of love. It's the love of God. Yeah. And that's what he wants us to have. The love of God. Yeah. Like he loved us so much that he gave his only begotten son. Yeah. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So then we ought to love our brothers and our sisters the same way that God loved us so much. And now the person that I'm getting ready to present, she has had her share of tests. She has had her share of trials, but God has still got her standing. And she is standing so she can be an example for other people that might get caught up in something and say, well, I just can't make it. I just can't go any farther. I can't take it. But God will show you that you can make it yes. and that you can take it. And he will let you know when you better know. And so she's coming with the word today, and I'm sure she's going to share some of her testimony of what God delivered her from. And you might see her dancing and jumping when she's out there in, in this church, but it's because she's grateful to God Amen. for what he has done for her. You know, it's amazing that God can bring you out of stuff, and then when you start to look back and you wonder, how did I get out of it? How did I get God, he wants us to glorify him. The more we praise him and the more we thank him, the better it will be for us. So at this time, I'm going to present to you uh, the speaker of the hour, missionary, Cheryl Barrett. Let's say, God bless, missionary Barrett. You are worth the other. The way 
in your family. Uh, some of you may say, well, I don't know why she picked that topic. I didn't. I didn't pick it. God picked it. Amen. You know, I kept asking God, I said, God, what should I speak to your people about? What should I talk about? I don't know nothing to talk about. I don't know nothing to speak about. And God said, you got a whole lot of messages in your book that I gave you. But I didn't look at the message, you know what I'm saying? And then it, it started to just run into my mind. So I could talk about this, I could talk about that. But I said, no, God, I want you to give me something that you want your people to, to you know, to them themselves. So, you know, and, and this came to me first. It came to me. And I said, oh, my God. So my lesson today is if I should die and my soul be lost, Nobody fought but mine. And I was saying, God, God gave me this. You know, I was just waiting on him to give me something. And all of a sudden, I was down there washing my clothes. And he chugged in my spirit. And I was like, thank you, God. Thank you, God. I was just praising Thank you. Know? And see, like when I did that, the devil got busy. Everything started to go wrong. Everything stopped to happen. But you know what? When, that went, when everything went wrong, I got a blessing the next day. I got a blessing the next day. So I thank God for this message. So when he gave me this, I said, well, God, how am I going to get this together? How am I supposed to do this? And God said, well, just pick. Pick five words. Oh, he said four or five. I don't know which one exactly he said, but I picked the five, so it must have been five. I picked five words out of my topic. And my first one I'm going to talk about is be mine. You know, we always say mine. This is my life. This is my world. And I can do anything I want to do. This, and, we, and, and I was just thinking, I said, God, I couldn't find nothing in the Bible just saying mine. So I began to think. Some verses came to me, but I began to look up something in the dictionary too. And I wanted to see what that what it said for that. It's a possessive form of mind belonging or related to this is mine, this belongs to me. It's a desire to own. I own her. I own him. This is mine. My word, my life. I can do anything I want to do, but no, 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 not so. Because the Bible says that we are born with it, Christ. We are born with it, Christ. Hallelujah. We are born with a Christ to serve a mighty God, to serve a good God, a loving God, a kind God, a holy God. We are born with it, Christ. Hallelujah. No, this is this is not this is not my life. I can't do what I want to do. Amen. I make it do it for me, but it won't it won't be right. It won't go right. <laughs> Nothing good is in it. All trouble come to you when you disobedient, you fall into a trap. So you can't even get out of. And this is just how I was. No, I can do what I want to do. I was out there doing what I wanted to do. Yes, I was. But oh my God. I, it was so, I had no love. I had no joy. I had no peace. I couldn't sleep at night. I had to use drugs and alcohol just to sleep. See, you now I was empty. I was empty in the inside. Because I was following people who were places, you know, doing things that I had no business doing, that was not pleasing to God. Hallelujah. But I thank God. I thank Him. Hallelujah. How He turned me around and fought. We want to blame the you know, pastor and mother and the Sunday school was all in my lap. Fought. Fought me, blame. We want to, like Pastor said, we want to blame God. We want to blame people. I'm not saying because I'm not ready. But time is running out. You know, I 
Bible said that, you know, when that young man came up to me, he said, you know, you remember, you remember that you said you want to change your life? I said, I probably did, but I used to be so high, I didn't remember nothing. I used to be so intoxicated. I mean, out of my mind. So, you know, I'm glad he remembered because, you know, God, you know, when you say something out of your mouth, and I'm going to say this a long time, I'm going to say it a lot, because God knew I want to change in my heart, I didn't want to change, but the people and the places and things that I was around and I was doing, I, I, I couldn't, but God knew, and blame me, we find fault, we find fault to complain, oh, I can't do this. Now, the Bible already said it. We can do all things with Christ to strengthen us. Now, I'm not ready. I can't do that. I don't want to do that. Just like you don't want to do it. Because you can't do it. You know, I, you know, I, I said that too. I said, I'm not ready. But as I got deeper and deeper and deeper, and deeper my life was so miserable. It got deeper and deeper and deeper. Said, I wasn't feeling right. I wasn't feeling my. I, I, I just didn't feel right. It's something that I was missing. Something I was missing. I was empty. I was empty. No matter what I did, no matter what I ran to, no matter the drugs, I was still empty in the inside. It was an empty void. Nobody can fulfill that empty void but Jesus. And that's why I got Jesus. That empty void went away. Hallelujah. And soul. And what does it say about soul? Like, like, um, 
She had an aneurysm. My God, she had a stroke and an aneurysm at the same time. I'm sure she wasn't expecting that. Things happen. And then we're not, we're going to have our life right with God. Our time is short. Time is short. Time is very short. But if we, but if we don't have our life right with God, it, it is big. It, it's short. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. 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 Lord.
husband don't want to be saved, then I can't go to hell because he don't want to be saved. Is my church not saved? This is an individual thing. I can't go for him, he can't go for me. And I thank God because I made up in my mind. I made up in my mind. And I thank God because my husband there on me. He said, Well, you've been going to church, you've been going to the you've been going to the convention with mother. He said, I'll never stop you from going where you was going. He said, I'll never stop you from going to church. And I thank God for that. I thank God because he could have said, I don't, I don't want you going. But he didn't say that. He said, You've been going with mother, I'm gonna continue to let you go. And I said, Thank, thank you. I said, God, thank you. God, thank you for touching his mind because I had prayed about that. But we, I just, you know, my heart just goes out. My heart goes out. My heart goes out. You know, when I see a person walking down the street, I, I pray for them. I, you know, because I remember they used to be me. I look at them, they used to be me. Would you believe they used to be me walking down the street talking to myself? Oh, yeah, that was me. <laughs> that was me. Uh-huh. I'd be full of drugs.
This young man, this young man, he's filled with apprehensions. He's filled with uncertainty. Clear it up in his mind. Let him know that if he just turn everything over to you and watch, watch you work it out. While he's trying to figure it out, God got it all in the world. Go on in the strength of the Lord. Complete obedience to God. Less of Kyrie and all of God. And watch you be successful. I'm playing victory in your life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, oh Lord, I want you to help me. Help me, Lord. Man, it was just, ah, 
to receive those promises. Is that all right? He's going to let you live until you receive those promises. That is, if you don't reject him. Now, if you reject him, you say just like uh, Sister Sherry said, if I die and my soul be lost, it's nobody's fault but who? But my own. God bless you, honey. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, on Wednesday night, after the shut-in, we started uh, having class about two. Two. Thank you for watching our service and for visiting us. We're so glad you came and look forward to seeing you the next time. But remember, now we solicit your continued prayer, your continued support, that we may continue to put this program on the airway. And until the next time, we are saying to you, thank you and to God be the glory.